Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. Uh, today, what I'm going to do is answer some questions about the Nerd Miner. Okay, um, this one here in my hand, this is a ESP32, I don't know, 24SO68R or something like that, with a resistive screen and all that. That's the big fancy one you get from uh, China, or you can get it from Amazon. Um, this one here is your normal ESP32 development board. All right, that can also be used as a solo miner. Um, this one here is an S3. All right, that's an ESP32 S3. That has to be um, actually uploaded with a Nerd Miner sketch. At it. You can't do it on the uh, usual GitHub one, but I'm going to show you where you can get um, the software for it and get it uploaded. I'm going to show you that. Um, but the main reason I'm making this video is I get a lot of questions like, you know, on these little nerd miners, how do I cash out? You know, how long is it going to take me to make a million dollars? You know, um, will I hit a block with it and so on and so forth. Okay. And uh, can I can I put it on different pools and stuff like that? And those are the some of the stuff I'm going to try to clarify. Now, these little nerd miners they can only do what is do what is called solo mining um yes you can set it up on a pool but the thing is is um you'll you'll be able to hook it up it'll it looks like it's um actually mining but it's not the pool is going to look at you and say hey you're an esp32 your hashing is so low i'm not gonna i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna look at you so you say so you say to yourself and you say to me, you know, through questions on, on my YouTube videos, hey, I, I hooked it up to a pool, but it's not showing in the pool. <coughs> Correct. It will not show in a pool because your hashing uh, rate is so low, the pool is going to ignore you. These little things, excuse me. These little things are only meant to go on to certain solo pools that will allow such a low hashing rate these things only hash at 60 kilohashes a second whereas i'm, I'm going to go into bit axe just i'm briefly going to touch on a bit axe this is one terahash okay what's that like a bazillion times faster than one of these so these miners can only solo mine meaning that they are not contributing to to a pool. They're they are contributing to their own beneficial needs. Okay, they don't mine for anybody else except for this little unit. That's the only thing it's mining on. And what happens is, is you'll set this up, and I'm going to show you a site where you can set one up. Um, it's the one that basically everybody goes to. It's uh, publicpool.io. And it goes out and it starts hashing and it's and it's getting jobs it'll get jobs back and then it it you know goes back and forth and again like i said this is solo you're mining for yourself so if this thing ever hits a block you are going to get 3.25 btc and right now a bitcoin is like a hundred thousand dollars so after pool fees and everything else that pool is going to send you about two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to your Bitcoin wallet okay now that's one of the questions I always get is when can I cash out on my nerd miner you can't it automatic will will do it once you hit a block you can't just sit there and watch a trickle of coins coming in you're a solo miner meaning that the only time that you will ever ever see any money is if you hit a block and that block is going to dump two hundred and fifty thousand dollars minimum into your Bitcoin wallet okay now what are the chances that this little thing is going to hit a block one in one and then add a trillion zeros to it that's your chances one and one trillion 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 zeros or basically say if you were to run this for a hundred years there's a freaking bitty 
what? I can't even get my fingers that small. Chance that you will hit a block in a hundred years with a that much, okay? That's your chances of hitting a block with one of these little ESP32s. Again, on and on the ESP32, you cannot set this up to mine on a pool. Yes, it'll look like it's set up and it's actually on that, you know, mining on that pool, but the pool will reject all of your hashing power because it just does not want to deal um, all of its resources on one little tiny ESP32. That brings us back to why would you even want to mine with a ESP32? It's all about learning about cryptocurrency and transparency and, and everything else that goes along with cryptocurrency. What you do is once you get this up and running, okay, on webpool.io, whatnot, um, you can actually hook this onto a serial monitor and watch all the jobs going out, jobs coming in, watching your hashing rate and everything else, and watching everything mesh together on you know somebody else's node. Um, and watch your little thing trying to solve that problem. That is one of one of the reasons for the nerd miner. It's to learn about cryptocurrencies. Okay, these little nerd miners have nothing to do with making money. All right, absolutely nothing. It, it, you you will never ever even get the cost of the product back. Okay never it's all about learning and again on these little miners okay you will not see a daily drip of coins into your Bitcoin wallet there is no place to go in and, and set it up so that your coins hit a threshold and they dump into your wallet none of that again if this thing was to ever in one in one trillion 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 zeros chance hit a BTC, you're going to be a rich person, I tell you what, all right, you're going to be extremely rich, and it's going to go right into your Bitcoin wallet, doesn't matter where you get your Bitcoin wallet from, um, the one I use, I get, I got a uh, account with Coinbase, all right, and that's where my um, wallet address comes from, so that's another question I always get is, where do you get the wallet address, sign up for a Coinbase account, and you can get a um, what they call a BTC wallet right in there Bitcoin wallet and that's what you set up on here now what I want to do is I want to bring you over here I'm going to show you a couple of websites um, where you can you know um, flash your Bitcoin miner all right and let's see and because on this one here this one's a s3 um, you're, there's a different website you got to go to to flash one of these to get it to work. So let me switch over. Um, all right, so this this right here, this is the pool that basically, you know, 90% of the um, solo miners, these little ESP32s hook up to, is uh, public pool. Okay, let me just go down here. Um, there are currently working um, bid axes out there that are solo mining, uh, CG miner, nerd axe, ant miners, uh, lucky miners. Lucky miners are basically the ESP 32s. Um, that one just says miner, gammas, uh, all kinds of different. It tells you how many miners are actually out there. Nerd miners, seventy-five thousand nerd miners are out there. Now get this. There's 75,000 nerd miners, and it's only, it's only hashing out of 5.5 giga hashes. That is, that is like if you were to, um, again, oh, that's something I got to touch on too. Um, these can only mine uh, Bitcoin. These cannot mine Verish coin. You cannot um, get these little ESP32s to. Um, uh, get set up on bearish hashing. This is for Bitcoin only. All right. So 75,000 miners and it's mining at the speed of one cell phone. All right. That's how 
that's how this the hashing goes on these little miners okay so this is the pool where everybody goes all right let's go through some of the flashers this one here okay i'll just show you here this is where you will flash the s3 the esp32 s3 this is where you would um hook it up um you connect your miner the s3 then you hit connect then up here it'll show you your um port number okay you go connect and then select and it'll say nerd miner you just hit nerd miner it'll say uh, version you just say 100 it'll say uh, uh, software and you say 100 and you just say start flashing and that's how you get nerd miner onto an s3 all right that's the one you use here now if you got a bin file like uh i have a bin file on my website this is where you would go to upload that bin file all right this is the nerd miner from github these are all the different nerd miners out there you can you, you can actually use a, a esp32 camera to mine with all right you got the esp32 the stack you know the dongles all these all of these here are solo miners and again they will never hit a freaking bitcoin block in a hundred plus years these are all about learning nothing to do with making any money again guys i defy anybody out there on the internet to show me where one of these has ever hit a block and i tell you right now i will call bullshit these have never hit a block and never will they hit a block these are all learning tools to help you learn about cryptocurrency how to mine it and the whole workings of cryptocurrency all right so here's one here this is free all right you can flash your um, miner and it'll mine anywhere between 60 and 90 kilohashes now this one here this is the nm miner this one here this thing will actually get your esp32 to uh, mine at 1000 kilohashes Woo but when you download it once you get it all downloaded to your appropriate um your appropriate device okay they show you all kinds of stuff it is going to charge you three dollars for that software okay you get it all downloaded and everything else nowhere does it say here it's going to cost you three bucks it waits till you get it downloaded onto your device and it's going to say all right we're not going to go any further unless you give us three dollars now they're holding your device hostage you've destroyed the software that you did have on this that was up and running for you now this website right here is going to hold your device hostage until you pay them three dollars for the fee for the license okay so guys granted yeah you're gonna to get a thousand kilo hashes that is not going to help you out in 100 plus years and it's going to destroy your device and on top of that nicety it's going to charge you three dollars to uh, retrieve your device so it starts working again real nice okay real nice and this company is based in hong kong all right let's go on so again here's public pool that's where you guys will um most likely hook up your your miner okay so let me come back now i do have a uh a video out there on how to um ssh into this device and um watch it mine okay guys i hope that oh i just wanted to touch on this real quick this is a bit axe all right this is a gamma bit axe right here it's a gamma so bit axes will actually mine at one terahash all right and if you're mining this and you oh my performance just went down that's fine if you're mining this you got it plugged in most likely your electricity is going to cost you about three dollars a month to um, get that running and that's primarily how much you're going to get per month 
out of the Bidex, you're going to probably get $3 put into your Bitcoin wallet. Okay? If there's anybody out there that disagrees with me, and you, you can prove to me that this device, no matter what pool you're on, can make more than $3, $3 folding money a month, that's after fees, I want to see it. Because it's impossible. You cannot push this thing to make more than $3 a month. Right now, I'm going to call bullshit. You cannot do it. Granted, yes, it'll make money. But not enough to even, not enough to even buy one of those. Again, that is a tool to learn about cryptocurrency. It's fun. It's fun to watch the display and everything else, show your friends and all that stuff. But you're not going to make a million dollars. Not until you get up to, you know, a big, you know, cryptocurrency farm. Then you can probably make a couple dollars. Because that is that is what you're actually hooking on to is a cryptocurrency farm. And those people are making money. You're not. You're making pennies. But you're learning about cryptocurrency. You're learning all about it. Um, that's my spill on this. If anybody wants to um, yell at me down below saying, hey, you know, you're, 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 you're dashing hopes for all these people that are trying to make a dollar, I'm glad I did it because I'm dashing your hopes because I'm saving you money. If you want to learn about cryptocurrency, then yes, use the ESP32, use the BitAx. Um, it, it gets you into programming. It, learn, it, it does all kinds of things, you know. You can uh, take that, that bin file and adjust it and, and make put your own name on it and do some Arduino sketches on it. Um, try to go out there and try to get these to work on Varish Hash, which you can't. You can't do Varish Hash on that. These um, processors are just too slow to do Varish Hash. That's why Verish hash um, primarily has to be done on CPU, GPUs, cell phones, so on and so forth. You can't mine Verish hash on a ESP32. You just can't do it. And if somebody says you can, I call bullshit again. All right. All right, guys. I hope this has um, gave you a lesson about ESP32s, bit axes, so on and so forth. Um, Questions, comments, leave it down below and I'll see you on the next one.